creating a comprehensive and detailed data protection impact assessment DPIA, for Office 365, requires an in-depth analysis that would typically cover various aspects in detail, including legal, technical, and organizational measures. Given the complexity and the need for a tailored approach based on the specific use cases, user groups, and data types involved, a full DPIA would extensively document these aspects to ensure a thorough understanding and mitigation of risks. Below, we expand upon each section with more detail, aiming to create a more robust and comprehensive document. This is only an example on how to do a DPIA. Executive Summary This DPIA evaluates the data protection implications of deploying Microsoft Office 365, focusing on ensuring compliance with the General Data Protection Regulation GDPR. It addresses the processing activities within Office 365 that could impact the privacy of individuals and outlines measures to mitigate identified risks. Introduction Background Explanation of the decision to use Office 365, including an overview of the services and the anticipated benefits for organizational productivity. Objectives Clarification of the DPIA objectives, aiming to identify and mitigate data protection risks associated with the deployment of Office 365. Scope, detailed description of the Office 365 services covered, the types of data processed, and the user groups affected. Data processing overview. Data types and categories, extensive listing of the personal and sensitive data categories processed through Office 365, with examples. Data flow analysis, detailed mapping of data flows within Office 365, illustrating how data is collected, stored, processed, and potentially transferred outside the EU, EEA. Processing activities, in-depth description of processing activities, including automated decision-making or profiling, if applicable. Legal basis for processing. GDPR compliance, analysis of the legal basis, e.g., consent, contract, legitimate interests, for each type of data processing activity within Office 365, including justification for the chosen basis. Risk assessment. Methodology, description of the methodology used to identify and evaluate risks, including any frameworks or standards referenced. Detailed risk analysis. Confidentiality risks, specific scenarios where data confidentiality could be compromised, considering both internal and external threats. Integrity risks, Evaluation of risks to data accuracy and the potential impacts of data corruption. Availability risks, assessment of risks related to data loss or service interruptions and their impact on operational continuity. Compliance risks, detailed analysis of potential gaps in GDPR compliance, considering both direct and indirect data processing activities. Impact assessment. Severity of impact. Evaluation of the potential severity of impacts on data subjects, considering both the likelihood and magnitude of harm. Organizational impact. Assessment of the broader impacts on the organization, including financial, reputational, and legal consequences of identified risks. Mitigation strategies. Technical measures. Detailed plans for implementing advanced encryption, robust access controls, and secure data storage solutions to protect data at rest, in transit, and during processing. Organizational measures, comprehensive strategies for enhancing data protection awareness among staff, including regular training and clear data handling policies. Data minimization, specific measures to ensure that data collection and processing are limited to what is strictly necessary for the intended purposes. Incident management, detailed incident response plan, including mechanisms for detecting, reporting, and responding to data breaches. Compliance mechanisms, data protection by design, explanation of how data protection principles have been integrated into the deployment and use of Office 365 from the outset. Data subject rights, procedures for facilitating data subjects' rights, such as access, rectification, erasure, and data portability. International data transfers, comprehensive analysis of mechanisms in place for international data transfers, including adequacy decisions, SCCs, and additional safeguards. Monitoring and review. Review schedule, schedule for regular reviews of the DPIA to ensure it remains current with changes in processing activities, Office 365 features, or regulatory requirements. Audit plan, outline of planned audits of Office 365 deployment to ensure compliance with GDPR and the effectiveness of implemented measures. Conclusion and recommendations. 
Finding summary, consolidated summary of key risks, their potential impacts, and the effectiveness of mitigation strategies. Action plan, prioritized list of actions required to address any compliance gaps or enhanced data protection measures, including timelines and responsibilities. Next steps, immediate steps to be taken following the DPIA, including any necessary adjustments to policies, procedures, or Office 365 configurations. This expanded DPIA framework offers a thorough approach to assessing and mitigating the data protection risks associated with deploying Office 365. Each section should be populated with detailed, organization-specific information to ensure that the DPIA accurately reflects the unique context and risks faced. Regular updates and reviews are essential to maintaining compliance and protecting the privacy of individuals affected by the processing activities.